Oh my god, we're all in jail. We've all been in jail once, apart from the mother. Where the fuck? Not getting out of here now. Where's the fuck? What? No. Come on. Can't deal with this shit. Poor Misha. Solar drift. Where is Aisha now? Alone in the middle of the night. Aisha and I could be together at my place right now. As romantic as an evening can get. Sorry, buddy. You gotta be a little bit more open-minded at the moment. Because, you know, she's probably gone through a lot. The town's dangerous and the world's going crazy. If this is happening here, where everyone knows everyone, what must it be like outside? Bad. Summer moved Besides, on. It's fall, and the night gets cold. Emergency shelter. I hope Aisia goes to the camp. It's better than nothing. Almost family. Ideally, of course, she should ask Aunt Galia to take her in. Close door. Oh, but here's something I haven't considered. Aunt Galia may have forgotten Aisia by now. Then she wouldn't let her in. She might catch a cold and be bedridden for weeks. It could easily be pneumonia. I don't care about myself. Without Asya, there's no point in anything. No, I'm not pressing that button. No, I'm not doing it. No. You're not having those thoughts. What if she takes her own life on an impulse by... Jumping into the pond or from a roof. Oh my god. Come on. Way out of How this. can I help Aisha? People live for years with incurable illness, taking medicine, and this is only a memory thing. Pretty big thing, the memory. I wish we could find the cause of the disease. That's something we could have a fighting chance against. Even if we don't obliterate the thing itself. We could at least undo the consequences. You're thinking pretty optimistic at the moment, Misha. What evil lies? An lives? enemy whose face you've seen is no longer intimidating. You overcome your fear and put up a fight. Very wise, the power of science. Fingers crossed that the doctors discover the foe in our blood. Mystery micro. However... The disease must be sentient to be capable of selectively wiping memories. I think it might just do it at random, my man. Alternate theories. Once we eliminate infection, we're left with conspiracy theories and the paranormal. <laughs> Could be anything. Sleeping dream. Maybe we're dreaming all this and only have to wake up. What if Chorma's right? Someone's testing a psychic weapon on us. Chorma was joking, of course, but... As they say in every joke, there's a grain of something. A long time ago, people lost their common language. This is happening again. Tower of Babylon, round two. Jesus. I've heard a theory the world is only a simulation. Oh, don't. A computer <laughs> program. Hello? In case our creators are listening, stop already. I wish I could do something about it, man. I'm just the player. Uh, this is rumination to the max. This is not a good thing. Oh, he's gonna sleep here tonight. No, what? Tomorrow's gonna be... Oh, he only just got a girlfriend. Poor fella. Ten o'clock in the morning. All right, still going. Do I click or anything? Okay, there's a person here. Get up, inmates. All right. All right. What's happening? Enjoyed your stay? Looking to extend it? No. No one remembers me anymore. No one that matters, anyway. 
Asha, what did you do last night? She's not going to remember me. Sorry for ruining your evening. You wound up here because of me. I wound up here because I wasn't quick enough. I had a chance to escape. Um, you remember me? That's the only thing that matters. I even remember my old house. I spent the night near it, by the pigeon loft. Soldiers could have thrown you in jail. You, got, I got caught. Damn coffee. I saw them too. That's why I stayed where I did. Okay. Let's get going. This isn't a great place for a friendly chap. Shall we go for a stroll? Your memory could use uh, some exercise to keep it in shape. Uh, we can walk around and get all nostalgic. Yes. Autumn is the best time for nostalgia, melancholy, brooding, and despondence. Shaken, not stirred. I don't follow. Do you want to go on a stroll or not? I'll go where you go. Okay, then let's head off. What's the go here? What are we doing? I'm just going to call mum. Can I call anybody? I can't call anybody. Alright. Where are we going? Going for a stroll. Look at all the camps. Can I go in here? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, let's go see if Kolya... Oh, check the map. Any other pieces? Oh, yep, another piece. Okay. Other pieces? Sweet. Um... Oh, that's where I was. Okay, I'm out here. Uh, let's go right, I guess. I don't feel any connection to this place. Actually, I uh, no. Why would you remember anything? Oh, come on, man. This is. Fucked. Alright, I want to go... Yeah, I'm going the right way. Am I? Map's just flipped around on me again. Don't know how much more of this I can take. Yeah. Up to the school. This doesn't feel like the town I knew. I must not be properly awake yet. My thinking's slow. Just wait till I get going. Some story from the past is desperate to come out. Let's walk around some more and maybe I'll be able to- There's one here. It. For now, I'm drawing blanks. Come on, remember something. Please. Upon the roof of our school, I uh, I wanted you and me to become trees, two little oaks that uh, stand alongside each other forever. We'd grown Sweet. quite a bit since the graduation ball. The graduation ball? I'm talking about last Saturday. And I'm talking about the graduation ball. We climbed on the roof then too. You. Freedom, all life ahead of us, no mountain too high. Well, I don't know. Climbing on the roof last Saturday could have been the most important thing that has ever happened to me. Misha. What was so special about last Saturday? You're scaring me. Have, have you forgotten? The two of us, the dawn, the morning freshness. We sat like that on prom night too. Not just the two of us, but still tell Obviously, her I'm a little confused about my past but aren't we all this I can't this is too much knew this would happen like we all know this would what is this I don't feel any connection to this place I settled down in Moscow and now I don't recognize my hometown it's just not going well Uh, have I been fucking this up because of the fog? I think I have. Hey. Okay. Gotta go down memory lane. 
Misha, please. Fix this, my man. But what? I'd stick around here for a while longer. Let's try and get your memories. You'd tell me if I've forgotten something, wouldn't you? I just need hints. A concert. Please. Do you remember, remember that rock band from Sverdlovsk that played on our town holiday? They weren't really big stars, but it was certainly a big enough event for a place as backwater as ours. We had to slip away from our parents. They didn't want their kids to listen to a bunch of lutes. Yeah, but the thing is, Shoma and Almaz had to. Their dad was a party member. He boycotted the concert. The boys only made it to the very end of the show. Oh, yeah. Toma must have been really jealous. <laughs> yeah, he later questioned Genghis, who had a lot to say about it. I let you sit on my shoulders so you could see the stage better. That's sweet. That means we must have been further back in the crowd. No catching stage dives for us, huh? Like they do at concerts now. <laughs> You've become quite the expert. Back then, your father put you on a week-long classical detox so you didn't ruin your taste in music. <laughs> I liked all kinds of music. Still do. Why force yourself into a mold? That is true. Very sweet. Very good. Alright. Um, to the side. This is a nice way of telling where to go, the fog. I appreciate it a lot. I just ran into the fog like a spud before. I'm getting something. It's on the tip of my tongue, teasing me. But I have no idea what's it about. It's all so vague. I can hear something in the right. Someone digging or something? Let's get our memory... Sorted. Uncle Koya's car brought us back to our childhood. It's like a time machine. It knew just where to break so that we'd run into Omas. <laughs> I was talking more about us pushing it together in the evening. You know, the, the camaraderie or whatever you call it. Wait, didn't the owner take the car back? Come on, Aisia. It was twilight, remember? You were in the driver's seat, and we were at the back pushing, you know, me and the two brother circus act. <laughs> Twilight, you say? Maybe I'd gotten tired early in the day and dozed off. Didn't happen. What, and slept all the way from the market to the garages. Who was steering then? No, Asya. You even encouraged us. Maybe I'm a sleepwalker? Sleep driver. And sleep driver? It's a bit of a far-fetched. <laughs> Okay, that was a joke. Although, of course, there's not much to laugh about here. Oh my god. This is some what? Alright. Up we go. Some story from the past is desperate. I'm sorry, I'm in no mood for conversation. Let's walk some more and maybe I'll be able to place it. Okay. For now, I'm drawing blanks. This one. Do you remember? Come on, try my best here. Those flowers I picked for you in fifth grade, they were nice, weren't they? But then, you got into major trouble for vandalizing a public flower bed. <laughs> Shoma ratted me out, gnashing his teeth with jealousy. <laughs> Our Toma? Or some other one. I think you gave each other the silent treatment for a week afterward. Of course, our Tioma. Why would some other Tioma be jealous? He wouldn't let me be alone with you, and vice versa, actually. So, yeah, that's why we never went anywhere as a trio. I remember the way you looked at me. Someone else, though. Either I've forgotten, or I never noticed. Yeah, those are the days. We saved on everything. We'd even get flowers straight from the flower bed instead of the market. <laughs> it was romantic. I kept your flowers in a vase until they lost their last petals. Oh, that's sweet. We're getting there. We're making headway. Hope. Um, up we go. 
they cross over? This one I close? I don't feel any connection to this place. Something happened here. But what? I'd stick around here for a while longer. Here we are. Doing it. Alright. Open the bubbles. I was stop. We used to sit here and chat for hours. We'd always hang out at the park. Past the gate, we had to take separate paths home. That's why we grew fond of bus stop. <laughs> the buses thought we were waiting for them. They'd always keep the doors open for us and then hurry us along with those angry horns going beep, beep. The buses looked cozy. It was all dark, all round. The only light inside of them, but there were no passengers. We mm -hmm. did take a ride once. You remember? We circled around the entire town until the bus went to rest. It's Someone nice. joked, the wedding coach is here. And you blushed. It was obvious even in the scant evening light. <laughs> Almaz made that joke. I mean, who else? Karma caught up with him after that, though. He didn't notice the wasp in his compot. <laughs> he was silent a few days after that. <laughs> and that time, the bus driver didn't kick us out even though his shift had ended. He looked at us with a kind smile, waiting for us to get bored and leave. But we couldn't get enough. <laughs> That's nice. But you just had a whole life together. You just can't forget each other, right? Was it not good enough? And so our paths cross once again. Where are you going, you lovebirds? Asher has forgotten her father. I'm helping her keep her memory of everything else for strolling around and remembering our I childhood. I think my father isn't the only person I've forgotten. Who's your friend, Misha? Don't you recognize- you don't recognize Almas? Almas? Our childhood friend? That's him? Yeah. This wasn't a good time to run into you. I'll go and remind you of my existence no longer. What? Don't say don't that. Go. Please stay. If I've forgotten you, then let's get to know each other again. Awesome. Time enough for that. Enjoy each other's company while you can. Oh my god. Thank you, Almas. Okay. Going up. And to the right. Because I'm doing this at random. Absolutely head back to the pond. I'm not prepared for this, so... Misha needs to keep Astia. They don't look good. Do you want me to hoist you up? We can hide from adversity in our helicopter. Like the good old days. Helicopter. Repeat after me. Helicopter. That was intentional. It's what Almaz used to call the oak tree. Sitting in the branches felt like being airborne. Some imagination. Try to remember. My aviator goggles, the rope, Almaz diving off into the pond. All I remember are the shadows of leaves cast across faces on a sunny day. Although, it's possible I imagined that. That's fucking... We're losing it. My god, come on. Misha, please. Fuck it, I'm just... My heart is sinking at the moment because of this. Just... Just so much. Just so much. Alright, keep going. Hospital? Come on, Asher, you can remember. Misha's your love interest, you know? Well, these aren't going to be good either. Oh, this hospital. I'll never forget that checkup we had to go through as school kids. What could make a medical exam so memorable? It was just ECGs, blood tests, and getting told to breathe in and out. 
I had a mortal fear of anything related to doctors. The sight of a needle made me dizzy to the point of blurry vision. <laughs> that must have made the girls laugh. I, I preferred to laugh at myself before others did. Quite the strategist, but I can't really imagine you as a comedian. Ouch. Oh my god, I don't know what to do about this. It's good. It was bound to happen, though. Can't keep the memories there when, you know, there's a disease knocking everyone's memories out of them. You know? There is wind pointing me in the right direction. I'm faster. Is it already loaded in for some reason? Okay. Gotta follow it. Taking a bit of a roundabout turn at the moment. Maybe I'm getting to the end of it all. Oh, what's this? I remember seeing this. You know, the pigeon loft was built by the owners of the old village house. It's gone, but the loft is still there. Somebody lived here. Either Amas or Genghis. Or one of the girls from our class. Was it Varya or Masha or... Close enough. You lived here. <laughs> So that's why I had the urge to go to the pigeon loft last night. You moved here when the institute provided your father with an apartment. So he worked at the institute here? It's like you're talking about some complete strangers to me. Must be difficult. Where are we going now? Oh. Alright, that's enough. Let's go home already. A stroll, stroll, stroll by your standards. Have you given up all hope of keeping your memory intact? It's too early for that. How are you feeling? Don't let it get to you. Have you forgotten anyone else? Stop worrying. Had you thought about me every day before we met a week ago? I don't think so. We all have to move on. I'd rather move backwards. I wish I knew what to move on to. I'd rather One move One might backwards. as well try to stand up to death. It's irreversible. The dead are at least remembered and paid visits. Only so long as someone's around to visit them. Soon enough, we'll all be in their position. The world's gone crazy. What did we do to deserve it? The question to ask is what we can do with it. It's easy to love your loved ones, but try loving a completely random person. We'll soon be strangers to one another. If we manage to live alongside each other, then we'll know we're worth something. I don't give a damn about some random people, but about you I do. Your memory's going well. You're waxing philosophically. Philosophical. Um, that's confronting, although you think you'd ought to be the one consoling you. Blockhead. This one. We're always blaming the world around us for not getting enough of something. Why don't you find joy in what has been? We've had a wonderful childhood together. Come here to me. This is it. This is the- this is it. There's no more Asha and Misa now, and that fucking annoys me. It's over. Okay. Oh shit, we gotta go. Would you like what the hell? Um. Oh, yes, car. oh my god, no, everything's... It's locked? What do you mean it's locked? What? What? The wrong way. Do I have enough time? Oh, this way. Time. Ladder. On the roof. Water's coming. Come on. Come on, Asha. Stay with me. Come on, please. 
Stay with me. There's a thing here. Oh my god, please, please, please. Please? This is... This is... This is... Fucking shit. This is shit. Oh, come on. No, everyone. Come on, man. Where are we going? Where are we going? Just gotta keep moving. No, 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 Oh, this must be what it's like to have your memories taken away from you one by one. Get to the tree, get to the tree. I just... Please don't let this be the end. Really wanted to work out between them. This is the final memory, I guess. The one that he's gonna lose last. Damn. No chair, half the stuff's missing. And it's back to work. Oh, I can't be bothered. Lost the habit completely during quarantine. Wait, 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 wait. So what, what's happened? There's two plates, a couple of cups. Can I pick up the phone? Can Enough I... procrastinating. Time to talk to the people who used to be my parents. So what if even they have forgotten me? You have the phone. Nothing. Hello? Hello, may I speak to the apartment What's owner? What's the issue? He's my what father. What gave you that idea? I have this number written down in my phone book. I'm sure he has mine too. That may be so, but he's got a new family now. And you should find one too. Fast, what new family? Me. Okay. Goodbye, and good luck. Sooner or later you won't be closer to the phone. I will talk to my father. I would I can't wish the same to you. I can take a coat. Yeah, Misha. Check that out. No one's know. waiting for me in the great wide world. Burgle is in the neighborhood. Really? It's been so quiet for so long. And here we go. What's happened? Just when you think things have settled down. What has happened? Who are you? This is my apartment. Um... Uh... 
Why is the I door lost open? my key. You know how crazy everything was just a while ago? I had to pick the lock. I did, but I also broke it. Are you you got a problem with that? It's tough for kids to live with that grown ups and again the law, you know, custody and everything. Don't be rude to your elders. Some elder. I'm not a kid either. I'll manage. So what are your plans, grown up person? Really? Are you you're already eighteen, you look younger. Excuse me? What kind of a compliment is that? Are you hitting on me? Perish the thought. I could show you my ID, but I can't find it either. Alright, your problems are your problems. Do you need any help? Say with fixing what the door. What are you, my prince charming? Come on, stop sulking. Can't you take a joke? It'd be great if you could help me. What's your name anyway? I'm Katya. I'm Misha. See so you around. And the door lock? I'll have to. Uh, I have a train to check in first. At work, I work at the station. I really want to leave, but I can't. I promise to help the girl out for as long as she lives next door. You don't even know what her name is. Okay. Hmm. The lock is jammed. Can't fix it right off the bat. It'll take some work. Okay. I'm just gonna go to work. That's what I'm gonna do. Looks like people are throwing away their forgotten kin's belongings. Jesus. That's Gala throwing away all those painting stuff. As a kid, I used to walk over other people's footprints so I'd leave none of my own. Shall I do that again? Why will it take me? Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Let's see where we go. Depressing winter. Ashia has nowhere to be seen. I bet you Misha's lost his memories as well. No. Have you forgotten or you've remembered? Quit stalking me. A whole week of respite and here we go again. I thought you'd come to terms with it all. Um, I wasn't stalking nobody. I saw four prints and followed them just to amuse myself. I was coming to confusing someone else, miss. I'm not a serial killer. I haven't learned to fly yet. If I did have feelings for you, I only have your word for it. Right now, you're a guy I barely know since we met a few weeks back. Your stubbornness only makes it worse. Much like to stop bothering you, this is a small town. I can't go anywhere without running into someone, you know. Did I really mean a lot to you? If no one's ever told me that, no one I remember anyway. This one. And I had the luck to get stuck with you here. Bug off. If you want a memento of me, here's a paper boat. I had a classmate who knew how to fold them. I've got to go now. I knew how to fold them. Oh man, come on. This is... I wish I had a kid to bring along. Kids have such a sweet tooth. Oh, come on. Things are just so hard. Oh. Okay, to work. I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push it at all. But Ashia started at my place. I don't understand. Uh, back to work. One of us should leave. This town really is too small for both of us. I can only answer for myself. Oh, me. Okay, fair enough. You gotta move on, I guess. Get to work. You got the wrong door, pal? Oh, for fuck's sake. Get in line for the desk. You gotta check in with the inspector and damn if I know where he is. Oh, did I just... forget that too? I am the get inspector. to work. Don't you see there are people waiting? You're stopping me! I'm leaving myself. Could you check in the passages instead, including me? Perhaps we could procrastinate and chat for a while. I start to get used to working are you again. Work or are you gonna keep rambling? I'm going, I'm going. I've been waiting a long time, so uh, so long, and now you won't give me another minute. Do not touch or move a suspicious item until the arrival right. of the police. Do it. If I'm going to get out of here, it's now or never. 
Sitting down behind this typewriter will be the start of an eternity. Ah, uh, do I have to choose to leave or stay? Oh my god, this decision this decision is Call anybody? Nothing else remains here for me. I'm going. I'm fucking leaving. I can't do this any longer. Misha, you deserve Sit better. Down and get to work already, will you? You know what? There's something I haven't told you. I want to leave. Do the paperwork for me and the other passengers, will you? I'm having deja vu. Like this has happened before. We have a deal. Then I'm getting in line. It's time to go. Train, please have your exit permit and a ticket ready for inspection at checkpoint office one. Getting out of here. Misha, you had a good run. But no one remembers each other anymore. And you've got to forget the past and move on. It's for your own good, I guess. The fact that it stopped me before I sat behind the desk makes me feel like this was the right choice to make. Okay. Here we go. one. End of the line. Yeah. Heading back home. You won't remember me. You won't remember any of it. So there's no point in me staying here either. Betrov doesn't remember me. Almaz and Tion, I have no idea. It's all over. Dear passengers, the 423 service to Kazan will now depart from platform one. Please stand clear of the platform Time for you to leave home, Misha, and go out into the world. Didn't pack any of your belongings, you just left. What was there to bring with you anyway? You did your best, Misha. Oh my god. I have a feeling I got a bad ending. Нам еще пару минут и начнется рассвет. Мне пока нет пяти. Я спешу подрасти, чтобы увидеть буфет и конфетные фольги конфетти. Мама спит по подушке. Вот вот поползет первый солнечный жук. Я ее не бужу. Вот она улыбнулась во сне. Вот сменил свою тень абажур. У меня есть на даче шалаш. Мы с друзьями там спрятали клад от макушек до пят. Обливались водой каждый год жарким летом, играя в солдат. Первый выпавший зуб под подушку кладу, на щую фея за ним прилетит, дразнит в детском саду, суслик, суслик свести. Знаешь, мама, я боюсь, что туда не пойду. Завтра важный экзамен, папа свел себе до свинтил. Задних два колеса, мама, я yes, и без сад. Мама, я без рук. Посмотри, я пытаюсь достать небеса. I guess that was known by heart, the first playthrough of it, and I hope you enjoyed. If people seem to like this series, I'll take another crack at it, but that's the ending I got. Um, sadly, 
that was that. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Не поставили 5. Я счастливый сбегаю с продленки играть во дворе. У меня 8 соток, и все-таки с вот таким зотом я снова пасую в игре. У соседа по парте дракон в тамагочи, он снова его воскресил. Дракон хочет есть, хочет спать, дракону опять не хватает игрушечных сил и повести на руках. Тот, кто первый сорвется слабак, то последний атлет мне уже 10 лет. И сцепился в турник, словно в стяг, жал кулак, и сорвутся я нет. Да. Вернуться на вид хотя бы нам выгнуться, вернуться на миг хотя бы нам вернуться, вернуться на миг хотя бы нам вернуться, вернуться. Мне пятнадцать. Я гелевой ручкой на пальцах рисую тату, когда я подрасту. Обязательно стану пиратом в Карибском порту, в институт не пойду. На проду погулять с тобой, что ты имеешь в виду? Мы скользили по льду, целовались в саду, я не помню, в каком мы расстались году. Завтра важный экзамен. Мне мама желает удачи, ведь так уж макей. Я пошел налегке, куча дат на руке. Пару раз посмотрел, не был пойман никем у меня в рюкзаке. В тот билет с зачеткой, вся королевская рать. Самый легкий вопрос, я стою не готовясь. И первый как хронос иду отвечать, мне поставили пять. Я счастливый, сбегаю по лестнице в новую жизнь. Молодой агосфер, не встречавший Христа и воржи. До небес доросли этажи. Залоги машины мне нечем платить за кредит. Старый друг не звонит. Переехал отец к новой женщине. Мама не держит обид. Я и сам разведен, говорят по статистике. Люди разводятся чаще мостов, что такое любовь. Я забыла ты, видимо, что ты из прошлого, что ты из снов. Помни, что у меня был на даче шалаш. Мы с друзьями там спрятали клад. Вот бы мне механизм, маховик, временную петлю. Что-нибудь, чтобы вернуться назад. Первый выпавший зуб. Видно, много курил. Запишусь на неделю к врачу. Мама будет у меня. Говорит, что я громко ночами кому-то кричу, что взрослеть не хочу, мама, спи по подушке. Еще не пополз первый солнечный жук, я тебя не пужу. Ты о чем-то вздыхаешь во сне, поменял свою тень абажур, мне пока нет пяти. Я спешу подрасти, чтобы увидеть, что спрятал буфет. Подожди, за окном еще пару минут, и начнется рассвет. Yes.